Minister, this is a simple enough question. Can you give an update on the pension entitlements being worked on for carers by our department? Uh, and outline uh, on the record of the House. The next question in the name of Pauli O'Sullivan. Uh, yeah. I'm taking 96, 99, as well as 101. My field day. Mm. Um, so basically, the question is, and sorry about that, um, what are the changes to caring credits? I know they're very, very beneficial. Uh, and long-term carers are included, but you might outline for the record of the House government what they are. Government. Uh, this government acknowledges the important role that carers play and is fully committed to supporting them in that role. Uh, accordingly, the current state pension contributory system provides measures including PRSI credits, homemaking disregards and the home caring periods to recognise caring periods of up to 20 years outside of paid employment in the calculation of a payment rate. Last September, Minister Humphreys announced a series of landmark reforms to the state pension system. Uh, the measures are in response to the Pension Commission's recommendations and represent the biggest ever structural reform of the Irish state pension system. One of the key pension reform measures announced is the introduction of enhanced state pension provision for people who have been caring for incapacitated dependents for 20 years or more. It will do this by attributing the equivalent of paid contributions to these long-term carers to cover gaps in their contribution record for the periods that they were caring for an incapacitated dependent. The measure will be available to individuals who reach state pension age from the 1st of January 2024 and will also be available to people currently over pension age. They will be able to apply for these contributions and receive a state pension contributory or enhanced pension from the 1st of January 2024 where eligible. Uh, in September, my department launched an online system for people to register for long-term caring contributions. Uh, this will facilitate the expeditious processing of these contributions upon enactment of the legislation. Uh, Mr Humphreys introduced the legislation to give effect to these measures in the Dáil last month, and I expect the legislation to be enacted uh, by the end of the year. I trust this clarifies the matter for today. Minister, if I... Heard you right. If somebody's caring for over 20 years, the 520 rule doesn't apply anymore. They will be able to get paid credits for a part of that period. And therefore, if they haven't achieved the 520, they can bring it up to 520. Uh, I'd like your confirmation that I understand it right, because this is of huge significance for people who had worked maybe five, seven years, eight years, nine years. I had one case where somebody had done nine years and 51 weeks recently into me. And what this seems to indicate, and I have been caring for a disabled uh, son since, it seems to say that they're actually going to be able to get that paid credit. Uh, and that, that would be a major, uh, of major importance. Uh, the other one that you might just confirm for me, it's related and it's not exactly on the same topic, but are the changes in means testing and all these changes all coming in, including the carers' uh, allowance means test changes, are they all coming in the 1st of January? Thermal. Except for child benefit, I'm aware child benefit Thermal. isn't. Here some detail in that, in terms of the evidence that uh, people uh, can provide to, to prove those 20 years. Uh, if a customer was in receipt of carer's allowance, carer's benefit, carer's support grant or domiciliary care allowance, they will have met the qualifying conditions for the pension caring support. Uh, for long-term carer's contributions, this will also require a duration of care of over 20 years. If a person uh, was not in receipt of carer's allowance, carer's benefit, carer's support grant or domiciliary care allowance, they will be asked questions regarding the care provided and will be asked to provide supporting documentation to confirm that both they and the carey meet the qualifying conditions. Uh, relevant supporting documentation may include medical certificates or documents, including birth certificates, marriage certificates if applicable, uh, earnings details, and any other information which may be relevant for the purpose uh, of establishing uh, the entitlement. So the short answer is, Deputy, yes, there's, there's, there's other ways of assessing uh, the 20 years beyond the contributions. I have to welcome this. I think it's going to uh, make a huge difference. And that, along with the change in the means test, 
to the carers allowance, uh, which is getting nearer to the target that the uh, Social Welfare Committee had been hitting towards and recommending <laughs> of disregard of the first 500 for a single person and the first 1,000 for a couple. Um, we're getting much nearer to that with the 450 and 900. And can you confirm that that will be coming in on the 1st of January next year? Okay. Thank you, Deputy. I, I, I can't. I, I don't know the status of the means test, uh, in particular in relation to carers. I know there is an overall review of means testing in general. I think that that's part of that. If it is, that's the case, that, then I don't think it will be in on the 1st of January, but I, 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 I can be open to correction on that as well. Uh, just to flag that in terms of um, the, the, the new system with the, with the credits for the state contributory pension system for people who are carers, we have already had a thousand applications. Uh, we do expect um, that uh, when people become eligible for it, we should be able to uh, turn around decisions in, in a few weeks' time as well. And just to say as well that people uh, will be able to, I suppose, log their credits um, in real time online as well, so that it doesn't have to necessarily be a big trawl back into people's history as well. They'll be able to use an online system uh, that they can enter into on, on a yearly basis uh, to, to help prove that 20-year that, that record.